Hi, welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to download and install Photoshop Express, which is a free Windows 10 application. So before we download the software, let's just open up the web browser and we'll go to Unsplash and I'll put a link to this image so you can download it as well. And we'll use that during testing. So let's just open up this folder and we we'll drag this photograph into here. You don't have to use this particular image. You can use your own one or something else that you download from Unsplash. And what we want to do is go to the store. So let's type in store here and we've got Microsoft store here and we want to download. Um, we're going to type in Photoshop here and we want to download Photoshop Express. So let's click on this and I'm going to click the install button. that's the software install so I'm going to click the launch so we'll click next is like 70 unique types of looks and you can remove like all this fog and haze and stuff like this and you can remove noise from pictures so there's quite a lot of things you can do get rid of red eye uh, healing spots you can heal skin and stuff like that and get rid of wrinkles and things like that so I'm going to sign in with my Adobe ID I'm just going to drag this to the side uh, or you can use the Facebook or the Google sign in as well so that's entirely your choice which way you choose to sign in and um, it's going to sign in here so it's going to ask me for a verification so I'm just waiting for that verification ID to be sent to my phone and I'll type that in as well so Okay, so I've put in a verification code. We can close down this window here. Let's make this full screen and we can go ahead and click on picture library here. Let's go to this PC and we'll go to my desktop. And let's go to this folder here and select this picture and that will load up into here. And then we've got all of these different filters that we can apply. So you've got all of these different effects that you can quickly select and apply them and you can adjust how much of that effect is applied to the actual image here as well and then you've got uh, ability to correct the exposure the contrast so you've got a lot of different effects in here uh, you can do like a grain effect as well let's increase that and you can really play around so you can adjust your images just on a basic level right so this is not sort of like full-blown Photoshop editing but you can add this sort of vintage effect with this border around the edge and you can change the midpoint here so you can like focus in on that particular hot air balloon uh, we can go back to here and you can change the aspect you can set it up for like facebook covers you can do loads of quick quick things here so you can set it up for like a twitter header so this will be exactly the right size already prepared for you uh, for your twitter header you can go and do things like that you can set it up for your facebook's your little facebook icon profile so it's really really cool um, software uh, that we can use quite quickly to generate specific thumbnails or images for our social media. I quite like that. Uh, the hill tool, we can't really show this too well on this particular software, but uh, normally we'll use this to sort of fix blemishes on skin and stuff like that. Um, so we'll leave that one out of the way. And red eye, we can't really demonstrate that on this particular picture. There is no red eye, uh, but we can go in here and we can select other effects. So we can change this one. Let's leave it on its default. Let's click here. Let's see. Let's see. It's... So you can play around with your hue and saturation. You've got blur effects. So you've got really got to go and experiment with this. Apply your filters and change the amount of strength that they have. To affect the image and uh, there's you know there's just tons of different options in here for you to go and experiment with um, play around with so you can really power up the colors here you can do loads of different stuff uh, you can really have a good you know play around with all the different filters um, and it's just a nice quick way of just changing the image so if you used like an image a while ago in um, on your social media and maybe you just want to change that image quite quickly 
uh, to repurpose that image and this is a nice way to do that so let's go to save here and let's click save and then we'll go back to my desktop and go into this folder here it's already labeled it as edited so let's just save it into here and then we can close down this software I'll leave you to go and experiment more with it and play around with all the different settings uh, it's quite a lot in there as you can see but there's our original image uh, let's just open this up that's the one we downloaded and then this is the repurposed image right so we cropped into that that hot air balloon we've twisted the image as well so it's at an angle we added this sort of blur effect and this sort of grain effect over the top and then we can reuse that on social media maybe upload it to our twitter account facebook and then we could take in some other software maybe write some text over the top of it you can experiment with this tool and um you know just enhance your images or change them in some way I like the feature where it can it has pre-selects for the different types of social media accounts for like your Twitter header for your Facebook post all of those presets are already done so you don't have to work out the whips and height it's going to do all of that hard work for you you can just focus on re-editing that image quite quickly so that's how you go about downloading and installing the Photoshop Express app onto Windows 10 I've been looking in the Windows 10 store I don't really download or install many apps from there, but I've started to look inside to see what's available. And there's some pretty good apps, so I'll go and experiment with the Windows 10 Store apps. I'll be making a few more tutorials in the near future, looking at different software that we can install from the Windows 10 Store. I hope you find this tutorial useful. I look forward to seeing you on the next DCP Web Tutorial.